Brad Clark for Rigging Dojo here. I just wanted to do a update to the rig tip constraint hack. Creating some pistons. So one of the things after I posted this, a few people noticed that um, even though this is pretty close to a linear motion back and forth as this end rotates, uh, we still get a little bit of Y translation and um, you know there are certain situations where that just will not be acceptable. So I wanted to provide one more option, and this is going to use the spline IK handle. Um, of course, in this tutorial, I link to uh, there's a blog article that is um, excellent over here at techartandstuff.blogspot, and he's got a great um, breakdown on this this type of motion and how to do it with just pure math. And I wanted to hack around that to make it just simpler for people that are looking for a, a quick rig solution. So let's switch over to Maya and take a look. Um, delete this guy real quick. So the, the solution basically is using a spline IK and a linear path. And here I've got a uh, measuring tool basically just so that when, when this works, when it moves, you can see that uh, the value doesn't change and the Y is staying the same on both ends. So we are definitely getting linear motion and um, able to rotate the top. So I've just got a cluster handle here and you can see that I can move this around. Again, if this was, uh, you know, if I have the, the group node here, I can rotate this and we get a really nice train style um, moving piston or you know translation from a rotation and the uh, the trick of this is just um, you know using the joint tool draw out our curve and then instead of using the default spline IK handle settings we're going to turn off auto create curve and we'll go up to create curve and set it to linear. And once we do that, we can just hold the V key down and vert snap our curve to the bones. And then when we go up and create our IK spline, grab the end and the curve. And now we can test it out. So here's my new curve. I'm just going to cluster it real quick. Maybe if it would let me. Alright, I was just in a curve tool mode, so select the curve, do control, right click, and go to cluster. And now I've got uh, some clusters. So you see if we leave it here, we're going to hit the end of this um, initial vert, and that's going to cause it to move up and down. So we just simply take the, this bottom cluster and scoot it out. Now obviously at a certain point we're going to hit the IK limit, so um, it's best to and just keep it in line with this uh, back vert. And now, if we take our cluster and group it, we can rotate this guy. And now you can see we've got a nice linear translation from the rotation. No special math involved. And we know that you know, based on this distance node, we're getting no artifacts of up and down translation and it doesn't take any extra constraint work like our last rig tip. So yeah, I just wanted to post this as an update and uh, thank you very much.